Hey everyone, welcome back to Static Pharmacology here on EMTV. I'll be giving you a patient care scenario. Your goal after reading the scenario is to devise a treatment plan based on pharmacological management. For an extra challenge, I'll be putting a one minute timer on the bottom of the screen. When the time is up, I'll be going through a scenario walkthrough and then I'll give you my treatment. Enjoy the card and good luck. Three, two, one. Unfortunately, this is a scene that is all too common in contemporary America. Let's go ahead and dive right into the scenario. So you're dispatched to a private residence for a 26-year-old male who is unresponsive. The roommate reports that he found the patient on a couch about 10 minutes ago and he's been unable to wake him. Physical exam reveals pinpoint pupils, disorganized respirations, and cyanotic mucous membranes. Your partner obtains the following vital signs, blood pressure 102 over 74, pulse 114, respiratory rate 6, SpO2 of 86% on room air, and a blood sugar of 104. After moving the patient, you find a lighter, a small glass straw, and several pieces of aluminum foil covered with a brown colored residue. Now based on my physical assessment and my vital signs, this is definitely pointing towards some kind of overdose. Finding the drug paraphernalia the lighter, the stem, and the foil covered with the brown residue is leading me toward a probable heroin or other opioid overdose. The process of smoking heroin is the second most common way to ingest heroin in the United States. It's not just all needle injection. Generally though, as the addiction progresses, those who were not injecting tend to move toward that as intravenous administration of the drug tends to produce a more euphoric effect. Now remember in our treatment, we're not gonna really get into the weeds, this is a very straightforward, very common kind of treatment protocol that you're going to see in the field. So let's go ahead and talk about that next. Now just like with all my other static videos, I'll begin treatment by regurgitating the mantra Scene Safe BSI IV02 Monitor. I'll then ventilate the patient with a BVM. And because this is likely a heroin overdose or other opioid, my mainstay of treatment as far as medication is going to be the drug naloxone otherwise known as Narcan. Depending on what I have readily available, I can administer it either intravenously or intraosseously, and the dose here is going to usually start at 0.4 milligrams, or if I'm having trouble establishing vascular access, which can sometimes be the case in heroin overdoses, I'm going to administer it intranasally, or IN. This can be given in doses of one to two milligrams at a time, evenly distributed between both nostrils. You can also give naloxone intramuscularly, or IM, but that route of administration tends to take longer. Now you can repeat naloxone as often as necessary to achieve the results that you want. I've got a pro tip video about giving too much naloxone and the consequences of that. So my piece of advice here is to only give enough naloxone to support respiratory effort. So only give enough so that the patient can breathe on their own. In addition to that, I'll give IV fluids at a TKO or KVO rate just to have the line open in case I need to use it again or more administration of naloxone. And then finally, rapid transport. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to head over to my channel and subscribe. And also make sure you leave a comment and tell me what you'd like to see in future static pharmacology videos. Until I see you next, keep washing your hands. Have a good rest of your night.